I did not have to take my uh, phone out of the case, and this is an iPhone, whoa. Hey YouTube, you're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I have the Drone Mask 2. This is a device that goes over your phone and puts the phone right up to your eyes so that you can fly FPV, or you can let someone do a ride along if you already are flying FPV. This was made by a company out of Norway. It's the version two of the thing. I tried the version one, I liked it. This one should be even better, so let's check it out. So if you're not already a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button if you like drone stuff, because we do a lot of that. And if you have a comment, leave it below and we'll be sure to get back to you. So the Drone Mask 2 is made by a company out of Norway. They, uh, says it right there on the box, made in Norway. They are a company that has done this before. They made the original drone mask, and it's really um, just a case with a high quality lens and high quality fabric that goes around your phone and allows you to fly first person view by using your phone, which is attached to the app on your drone, and allows you to see what the drone is seeing from the camera's point of view. It's a really kind of cool concept because you can buy goggles for FPV drones, but they're a lot more expensive than this. You're already using your phone, and so why not use something that closes it off, blocks out the light, and allows you a better view of whatever the drone is seeing so you can get better shots. It's also good for ride-alongs. If you're gonna be flying with a friend and they wanna check out what you're doing and you're wearing goggles, you can actually come straight out of the goggles, send them a signal, and they can see what you're seeing. Now, I have not uh, actually tried the Drone Mask 2 yet. I'm just about to do that. It is... Very tight box. Did you hear that? Um, I always like that. Very satisfying sound. Here's the little bag it comes in, and voila. And yeah, it is a box that your phone goes in. Now, again, the original drone mask was designed for flying drones. You can also do things like watch movies with it. If you have a movie on your phone and you wanna put it in here so you have that more cinematic view, it gives you the feeling like you're sitting in a theater looking up at a big screen, you know, cause you can kind of look all around with your eyes and see different things. Just like the first drone mask, my first impression of this thing is high quality, feels really good. Um, it does have, this has some uh, little spots here with some mesh and I'm thinking maybe that's to let air flow in so it's not as hot or maybe that's also a spot where you can reach in and touch your touch your phone so you can actually uh, change settings without having to take it off and yet it still wouldn't have a light leak because this thing, when you push on it, it pops back in place. See how I'm pushing on it and it's popping back in place? There's no electronics in this, by the way. It is just a piece of hardware to hold your phone. I have the latest iPhone 14 uh, Max Super Duper, whatever it's called. It's the biggest one, and I'm not bragging, I'm just telling you that for reference because I am curious if it fits the biggest phone that iPhone makes, and I uh, don't know if it does the biggest phone that Android makes. There are some cables that come with it here. Here is a uh, lightning to USB-C and an adapter here, and then here is probably a USB-C to USB-C. So this would be for an Android phone, this would be for an Apple phone. Uh, has the instructions here on how to use it and what everything's for. And I might need to look at this, but hopefully I don't since I've done this once before. So there's a zipper, unzip it. And it has these little, um, has these little clamps here and the clamps actually have a bungee inside them. So this is what's gonna actually hold the phone. Now I'm hoping I can put it in there without taking my um, phone out of the case. I have been using some AI artwork recently, and so I'm gonna pull up my AI artwork of, uh, I typed in stinky monkey, and that's what came up. Uh, and so let's see what the stinky monkey looks like in the drone mask. I did not have to take my uh, phone out of the case, and this is an iPhone, whoa. Yeah, well, let's see if it's actually gonna hold it. This time I am putting the things around it a little more purposefully, and now when I turn it over, it is holding it. Yeah, it's a big phone, and with the case on it, I think it's probably um, slightly bigger than the case edge. And so it's gripping, but it's not, it doesn't have quite a lot, enough space to grip it really well. So while it is holding it, like I said, I can turn it upside down. I can shake it a little bit. 
It doesn't feel like it's gonna come out. I can feel the bungee moving a little bit because this phone is heavy, but um, it might fit better without the case. So let me try that real quick. I mean, I think in most cases, I would probably just, in most cases, I would probably just leave the case on it, but let's see what it does if I take the case off, if it fits a little better. Chris, can you put in some uh, funny case removing music during that part, please? Thank you. All right, so now the case is off of my phone and I can already tell you that the clamps fit much better with the case off. They, they, they go all the way over. If you can see right there, they actually are covering the front of the phone just a little bit. Whereas with the case on, they couldn't quite get over that far. So probably better to use it with the case off so that it's more secure. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I might, I'm just gonna pull up a video. Oh, wow. Yep, that is crystal clear. I'm gonna try and start a screen capture from in the mask. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool that you can reach in and do this stuff. But yeah, you can see here now I'm scrolling through photos and I'm doing this with my left hand just through the little slot there. And it's very easy to do. Actually, and there's a little funny thing. If anybody can tell me what that patent is for, leave it in the comments. So big win on these little holes being easy to do. So there is a little uh, knob here that you can slide and to lock you go clockwise, to unlock you go counterclockwise. And I assume when it's locked, you unlocked, you can push it down. Yeah, you see how I pushed it down or pulled it out. I know the first time I tried the original versions of these, I didn't have it pushed out like that. I had it in like this and the picture wasn't as crisp. So this gives you a little bit more distance so that you get a little more uh, distance from your eyes so you can see a little better. So once it's out, you can lock it and then it's not gonna accidentally go in or out. See, it's not, it, you can't move it once it's locked. So my first impression of putting them on, they're quite comfortable. Um, I think they're lighter than the old pair. I don't have the old pair anymore to compare them. Um, so I don't know for sure, but I might be able to look up the weights and tell you what they are. Uh, I love the little slots here to be able to get in and push things. I kind of thought that was a little hokey, but in reality, that actually makes it great because you can go through and touch screens or turn off a notification or things like that um, with these little holes. And they, the way they, just pop right back into place. Can you see that? They just like, when you put your hand in there, it get, you know it creates a gap, but then boom, it just pops right back into place so that there's no, oh, as long as it's in there like that, it just pops right back into place so that there's no light leakage. Very simple, simple design. The padding here on the face part feels very nice. Uh, it's, it's soft, kind of foamy feeling. And then the lens in this thing, the quality of the lens is really, really good. I mean, it just looks very, very solid. A plus for the hardware. The thing is really, really well made and feels great. Let's actually try it out with the DJI Avada and do a little ride along with Chris and I flying so that one person can watch and heckle while the other person flies with the actual FPV goggles. And also keep in mind real quick, I feel like the really big opportunity with this is so that when you do want to let somebody else do a fly along, or if you have a client that wants to watch, or you're doing a fly through of a restaurant or something like that, and you want to let the restaurant owner watch, these are a great option because they can really see what's going on. They have the same immersive experience that you're having, but you don't have to buy a second pair of really expensive uh, digital FPV goggles. One other quick note, um, while I have the iPhone 14 Max here, Chris has the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, which is actually slightly taller than my iPhone Max. So slightly taller phone, will it fit in the drone mask? And yes, it fits just fine. It's right there, it's in the clamps. And again, taking the case off gives these clamps the opportunity to kind of wrap around it better than with the case on. It will sort of fit, but it doesn't feel as secure as it does with the case off. One other thing I should mention is this little hole right here, this is actually a piece of Velcro that pops out. So that's black Velcro that goes on. And now you can see this little hole right here. Well, this hole is for your camera. And so if you were doing some sort of augmented reality thing where you needed a camera view out of the um, phone, you could do 
this and their camera peeks out right there. Now, this particular phone has three cameras and a light and a LiDAR all right there. Um, and so one of the cameras is slightly blocked, but um, two of them are not. And with the Galaxy phone, one thing is the one up here in the top right, top left on your side, I guess, is getting blocked slightly by that curved piece. So perhaps it would be better if this camera cutout was a little bit bigger, but again, this would be an edge case where you were doing something where you needed your camera so that you could have augmented reality. So I'm gonna just move around the space here and I'll put the goggles on. And now you pick the animal you want to use. I'm gonna pick a Doberman here. I'm going to place the Doberman right here. Oh, there he is. He's over behind Chris. He's down uh, to your, yeah, that's him. You're petting him, you're petting him. Oh, he likes that. Oh, no, there's a drone. There's actually a drone you can put in. It's firing at me. Wow, it's up by the lights. It's hovering over there. Now, oh, there it is. It's, it's a two, uh, two propeller drone with lasers built into it. And our dog is gone. He's run away. The, the drone scared it off. It's dropped down. It's doing some really cool maneuvers. Oh, it's right here. Hold on, drone. I'm gonna see if I can grab it. Oh, my hand! All right, enough of this silliness. Let's go fly some real drones. So of course the question everybody's gonna wanna know is, does it work with glasses? So I have right here my glasses that I hardly ever wear. I'm gonna try it with that. Uh, so Chris is gonna fly. I'm gonna do the ride along and talk while I'm doing it. So he's got the Avada right there. And this is a USB-C to lightning cable. It's USB-C on that end going into the goggles. So noted, um, you either have to be flying the Avada or the DJI FPV for this to work. So basically the, the cable has got to come out over on this side because that's where, the, that's where the connector is. So I'll just put the zipper around to that on both sides like that. I will go ahead and put on the goggles with my glasses and I will go ahead and, oh yeah, wow, that's even better. <laughs> it was good before. And launch the DJI Fly app. And using the two fingers, that is just so nice. And I'll hit go fly, all right. And now I am seeing the aircraft, aircraft in low power. Yeah, and man, crystal clear. I can see us going past the tree over by that little playground area, uh, past the van. Chris loves this little gap with this tree. It's a fun little gap and boom, got it. Yeah, so just as an experience of being able to let someone else watch your flight with very little lag and a pretty clear picture, uh, this is great. This works fantastically. And you could do this with just your phone but they wouldn't get that sort of immersive experience that you're having when you have the goggles on your head. Uh, can you hit under that sign? Yeah, baby. Another place where this would be really interesting uh, use case is if you were teaching somebody to fly FPV, you could actually watch them fly and then be able to see what they're seeing and also be able to see what the screen is. So for example, I could see when Chris was in normal mode and tell him how to switch to sport or acro mode or manual mode because I'm seeing the same heads up display that he is uh, seeing in the goggles. He hasn't flown the Avada a lot. And so being able to tell him those things was a shortcut versus him having to just poke around and find things. But for a new FPV pilot, this could be a great way to give them instruction and teach them how to fly. So now the other situation would be if you wanted to fly a camera drone, let's say the Mavic 3 or the Air 2S or the Mini, you could take the phone and instead of mounting it to the controller like you would normally do, you would just put the phone up in your goggles, get a longer cable from the controller up to the phone, and then you're gonna fly that FPV as well. And of course, it's not gonna have the same performance as flying an FPV drone, but it is gonna give you basically that FPV point of view by having your phone in the drone mask. So a couple of ways that you can do it with FPV drones, especially the DJI FPV, the DJI Avada, 
and then the Air 2S Mavic 3 or Mini 3 Pro. All right, so as you can see, this little piece of equipment here, which is literally just a case that you put your phone in, uh, does a lot. And you have to have a phone to do it, so you know this thing isn't doing the electronics part, but it gives you the ability to do augmented reality, because you can do that with uh, the camera pointing out of this little hole, gives you the ability to do ride-alongs with a drone, gives you the ability to fly FPV with a camera drone, and also gives you the ability to do things like look at pictures and movies uh, in a very, very detailed view because it's right up next to your eye. And you know, phones these days have such good clear pictures that when you get it right there, you can see a lot of detail. I'm very impressed with this thing. I do think it has a lot of use cases. Um, you know, a lot of people are gonna wonder about the cost for something like this that is not electronic. It's just a piece of um, fabric and lens and high quality materials, but not any electronics in it. And ultimately, it's really kind of up to you if you have the desire to do some of those things and to have that imagination to use it in those ways and want to play with virtual reality or augmented reality on your phone in a more immersive way, or do ride-alongs with your friends in FPV, let them ride along with you. That's really where I see it shining the most. Leave your comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about the Drone Mask 2. It's on sale now. We'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone. He's uh, down lower. He's really small, and he's back closer to those boxes. Yeah. Here, come, come take a look at this. <laughs> yeah, you could be watching a sports game or something too, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think I think we got enough. Unless you want to do anything, unless you had. Okay, that was good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you're giving me too much. I want to use it all. <laughs>